Life has been flourishing on our planet for 3.7 billion years, with many different creatures that have been able to adapt to their own environment. But while Earth has many amazing animals, or animals that have helped in the start of life, like Parasite 97, there are also many dangerous species that live on our planet, from species like alligators, demonic dragon horses, to even the parasite creature that live on our planet like Nagleria fowleri, dragon worm, the parasite that we'll be talking about today, the species known as Parasite 98. These parasites are a danger to all life on this planet, as they can mutate the host into a horrific monster. While these creatures were found on Earth, they are not from our world. These creatures came from another planet and solar system, however, we do not know their point of origin. There are four different groups within the Parasite 98 species. First up is the Queen, who is simply known as Red Eyes. Red Eyes is the only known parasite that cannot infect people. However, she can create more parasites, like a queen bee in her own hive. The Queen will also keep her parasite in check and has complete control over the parasite as she uses telepathic to communicate with them. Red Eyes is the biggest parasite around, as she is roughly around 60 to 59 feet tall, with a wingspan of about 90 feet to about 100 feet long. Red Eyes is the center of a collective hive mind who has worker parasite to keep their population going. She lays the eggs of the parasite, of which start off as little dragonlings larvas. Red Eyes will communicate with her caretaker, who are the only male parasites in the hive to take care of the young. If for some reason, a dragonling larva isn't growing strong or isn't staying in tune with the queen, Red Eyes will eat that dragonling or allow the other dragonling to eat their sibling. However, if the queen is killed, then the parasite would not be able to function as a hive. There wouldn't be anyone to keep the hive members in order, which will cause the hive to slowly and painfully die out. The parasites have been sectioned off into hot zones to make sure they die off like they are supposed to. But what about the other important parasite within the hive? Not only does Red Eyes have the caretaker for the dragonling larvas, but she also still needs food to get into the hive to feed the young. From this point forward, all these types of parasites will need a host to gather food or protect the hive. They cannot function on their own without a host. Keep this in mind as we speak about the first of these species known simply as the gazers. Gazers are a weaker species of parasite as they are slow creatures and do not have a protective outer shell like most of the parasites in this a parasite haven't found a host yet, they'll find an object, anything in its path, like shells, plastic, rocks, or whatever you can think of. Like a hermit crab, the gazer parasite will use this object to protect its sensitive This is the only parasite in the Parasite 98 group that does this, as the other two have a protective shell on. But if the gazer parasite does find a host, the parasite will abandon its object to reach its objective. Once mutated, it will now not only be a lookout for the hive collective, it will also look for food. But not all mutation are created equal. While some of these gazer may have things covering up their eyes, they can still see using heat pit around their noses and where their eyes could have been. They use these heat pits to help them find prey as they are gathering food for the hive. They also use these heat pits to help them be a lookout for the hive. If gazers hear or see danger coming toward the hive, they will emit a loud screech noise that will alert the warriors of the hive to the danger. Each gazer is different to each other. While some will build defenses to fight off enemies, like the gazer zombies, some only create defenses to hunt for food. Even these creatures you need to be wary of as they can still kill a human or other living creatures on our planet but despite the danger that the gazer species poses to all life on our planet they are very easy to kill and are much easier to burn than a stronger parasite using a normal weapon can take a gazer with ease and burning the parasite is easier you can use either a lighter to kill these things or if you are either a dragon man or a demon goling, you can use your fire breath against these creatures as for the reason to burn an infected monster is to make sure it doesn't come back to life and to make sure it can't spread any more of the parasite Parasite. Now, before we move on to the next of the species, let's explain something to you. Parasites, either gazer or the next member of this group, the warrior classes, can infect a human, or animal, or any living creature. How does this work? Well, a gazer will start off as a small parasite creature, who 
who is about the size of a fully grown chihuahua, will go out to find a host to resign in. Once they can find a host, they will wait till that person or animal is asleep before making its move. Once the human is at its vulnerability, the parasite will crawl its way up to the human face and force it way down a human throat. You may think this will cause extreme pain to the human and or animal. However, neither of them will feel pain, nor will they feel the parasite forcing itself down the person's throat. How does the parasite do it? Well, the parasite will cause itself to shrink its entire body, bit the person or animal mouth, and force it way down to the person's chest. The parasite can even enter through the other way as well. It will do the same thing as it does with the head. Once the parasite is in the host's body, it takes a while before the mutation takes hold. If a person doesn't have Parasite 97, like Fred Neorians or Imps, who are not from our world, then the mutation process will take up to four days. Because our planet Earth started life with the help of Parasite 97, the mutation process will take up a week before the transformation can happen. The transformation process can take a while, so here are some signs to see if you want to make sure you're infected. Getting sick, coughing to the point you're coughing up blood, fever, chills, fatigue, weakness and shortness of breath. You may also want to look out for hallucinations, vomiting, violent behavior, and... If you are noticing any of these signs, it is recommended for you to head to the nearest CAIP hospital to stop the process of transformation, since removing the parasite can be very dangerous for both you and the parasite 97 that is living within you. Once the host is completely transformed, then the process will start again. The infected host will find a new person to continue this cycle. They will use a second like jaw to shove it down the person, cloning itself to the next host. Now, this isn't like red eyes, laying more eyes. This is a process of that small parasite cloning itself to infect whoever it has caught. This is why it is very important for you to burn the infected host after you have killed it. Otherwise, you can come back to life. Spread the parasite even farther. Now that we have explained to you about this process, let us move to the next species of Parasite 98. This next parasite is within the middle of both between the gazer and our last type, the stronger type of parasite. The middle ground species of parasite that we're talking about is simply known as Aries, the warrior species of Parasite 98. They are more agile than their gazer sisters and some can see normally unlike their gazer's sister. However, only one species in this group can't see, but uses echolocation to see the world around them. That creature is simply known as the Ravagers. The Ravager is the only species within the Aries species that can use echolocation to find their attacker or the next host, as they do not need to hunt for food for the hive. All the Aries species can be found around or near the hive as they are built to protect the hive at all costs. These creatures are something you need to avoid at all costs, as they are faster than Gazer, and some are more able to breathe fire in some causes. However, these creatures can be killed with either the PER-97, that the IPU can use against Ares or Gazer Parasite, or you can use a stronger weapon with greater force, like a shot. It is much better to use a hotter fire to burn these guys, as the protective shell on the parasite is much stronger, and normal fire has a much more difficult time burning through the shell. Dragon Aman and Demongoling fire breath are much hotter than your typical fire and can be used against the Ares parasite. However, it is sad that we must state that some US states have made it illegal to use fire, so please check with your local states before either breathing your own fire, or gathering up the supplies to make fire that you'll need to completely burn the parasites. So, it is best to avoid them, and if you do ever find yourself face to face with one of them, make sure you walk away as quietly as possible as to not alert the parasite to your location. If they do see you, get as low to the ground as possible, get into a fetus position and do not move. The parasitic creature will investigate you, and when it realizes you're not worth their effect, they will leave you alone. Make sure they're gone before getting up and walking away. However, this technique will not work for the last group on our list. The last group of the Parasite 98 is simply known as the Grim Reapers. This species is well known for their name as they do not hesitate to kill anyone on sight. Even if you place yourself in the position that we told you to do with the Ares Parasite. With Grim Reapers, they will just kill you, or infect you with the Parasite. This species of Parasite is much stronger and harder to kill, as this Parasitic has an outer shell that is stronger, with a darker blue color than the normal shell. This make it harder to kill the parasite, and normal weapons are pretty much useless against this type of parasites. Weapon like normal firearm, PER-97 are useless against the Grim Reapers parasites like the Flamsters, Reapers, Skeletor, so it is best that you get a weapon stronger to fight off against these creatures. There are two species in this group that use echolocation to find their victims, Flamsters and Reapers, who are blind, while the other one isn't completely blind, and only uses echolocation when it can't see. 
The stronger weapons like CAI PMP-34 are hard to get as most of them can only be used by CAI agents. Even the most powerful weapon known as the Anti-Era is impossible to get your hands on as this weapon disappeared when Mark Newman vanished in 1813. So please, check with CAIP to make sure what type of weapons you can get to defend yourself against any of these parasites. Now that you know the difference between weaker parasite to the stronger parasite, and you know a bit more about Red Eyes herself, you know a lot about Parasite 98 and the different species we have on these types of creatures. If you ever encounter some of these creatures, it is best to avoid these creatures at all costs. But if for some reason, you find yourself face to face with the Grim Reapers, so much for watching if you want to understand the parasite more please check out our news clipping for more information we here at caip want to protect the people of this planet from any parasitic creature stay safe and please inform your local caip or authority if you see any parasitic activity